11 unsung action heroines from legendary era of action movies. We all enjoy a fair share of scintillating action movies once in a while. Now, when we consider the righteous protagonists who take on the evil forces, we mostly think men. We have plenty of heroes who excelled in various martial art forms and could appear convincingly taking on multiple bad guys. But is it mandatory for the protagonist to be a male hero? Of course not, and the women in the race have proved this time and again. There has been a unique brand of action heroines who matched their male counterparts with their skills and screen presence. Such was their training in martial arts that they could be an effective fighter in the most intense action movies. But we often do not remember a great dish in a buffet, and they performed at a time when action movies were plentiful. So there's a significant section of these action heroines who never got their due recognition. In this video, we will celebrate some of these legendary ladies who proved to the world that one needn't have Y chromosomes to excel in action movies. Before we go into our list, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click from you, but it means a lot to us. Thank you. Let's begin. Karen Shepard being a stunt double is probably the most thankless job that often doesn't even recognize the efforts of the individual. Karen Shepard has shouldered the burden of this job time and again while being a capable actress herself. She was the first officially declared number one World Black Belt Forms champion, and this made her a natural choice to enter the stunt community. She earned the title Karate Diva for her insane karate skills. She has been a stuntwoman for movies like Mystery Men and Basketball. Soon, her acting prowess was recognized and so was the fact that she could be a mean fighter. This allowed her acting roles as well, and she went on to star in the famous Angelina Jolie star Cyborg 2 Glass Shadow. She's famously known for some of her performances on television where she mesmerized the audiences with some mind-blowing skills. She starred in Criminal Minds and Hercules' The Legendary Journeys. She has also starred in movies like VIP and Another Day in Paradise. Currently, she's involved with more mature roles, but in her prime, she was a live wire in the world of action movies. Michiko Nishiwaki You all remember the iconic film Charlie's Angels, but few are aware of Michiko Nishiwaki, the stuntwoman for the high-risk action scenes of Lucy Liu. This Japanese personality is a renowned female bodybuilder who excels in many martial art forms. She did star as an actress in many movies, but is equally respected as a fight choreographer who rose in ranks with her incredible performances as a stuntwoman. Michiko Nishiwaki was in the limelight following her win at the Women's Bodybuilding and Powerlifting Championship in Japan for three straight years. She retained her feminine features and charmed her fans with her adorable yet powerful presence. She performed some death-defying stunts for iconic Hollywood movies like Kill Bill Vol. 2, Mission Impossible 3, Collateral, and Rush Hour 2. As an actress, she proved her mettle with the movies like Ghost Rock, Man on the Moon, Afro Ninja, Fantasy Island, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. For her work in Charlie's Angels, she won the Taurus Award for the helicopter scene that would leave you breathless. She is an inspiration for women aspiring to take on the action genre. Oh? That's it! Cynthia Rothrock You may know her as an accomplished actress, but she shot to prominence after her successful stint as a martial arts expert. She was undefeated during the five years of participating in the World Championship in Martial Arts Forms and Weapons. She was soon an important figure in Hong Kong action movies and gradually went on to star in multiple B action movies. Such was her impact in action movies that she was hailed as the queen of martial arts films. With over 60 films in her kitty, she is now a respected veteran who aced action movies. Right from her first movie called Yes, Madame, she has been a craze amongst her fans. She has been a part of movies such as The Martial Arts Kid, China O'Brien, B-Team, The Untouchables 2, The Hostage, Night Vision, and many others. With her work in Tiger Claws 3, Deep Cover, and Sworn to Justice, she established her credentials as a menacing heroine who could take on the toughest of villains. She might have been criminally underrated, but her fans swear by her remarkable scorpion kick and her movies continue to be as entertaining as ever. <laughs> Yo. 
This Malaysian actress is as beautiful and graceful as she is fierce. She started off with her work in the fashion industry and even won the Miss Malaysia beauty pageant. As Mikkel Yeo started growing in prominence, she worked with the likes of Jackie Chan and made a mark for herself in the Hong Kong movie industry with her unique brand of action films. She was a trained dancer but never had formal training in martial arts. That, however, hardly showed when she made the fight sequences. Mikkel Yeo has the heart of a lion and does her own stunts despite the risk factor. Several injuries did not deter her enthusiasm, and she's a sight to behold in a full-blown action scene. She is famously known for her role in the James Bond film titled Tomorrow Never Dies. She also starred in the popular hit Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Some of her recent roles include Crazy Rich Asians, Last Christmas, Morgan, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, and many others. This talented actress has been nominated for the prestigious BAFTA and Saturn Awards. She is a reigning queen in the hearts of action movie fans, and it would take time before we find someone to fit her shoes. Sophia Crawford Sophia Crawford had an interesting start to her career when she moved to India from London. She spent some time in Nepal as well before taking on the film industry by storm after shifting base to Thailand. She had her fair share of struggle where she was an editorial model and a mere extra in American productions. She worked alongside several groups of movie crew and featured in blink and miss roles for movies such as Kickboxer and Around the World in 80 Days. With the movie New Kid in Town, she found her first major role in Hong Kong cinema, but her lack of fighting skills made the director kill off her character. This served as a wake-up call and she trained hard in martial arts. Once she shifted to the United States of America, she worked in over a hundred movies and TV shows. The lady who was once regarded as a novice in action had become the maestro. She was also the stunt double for some important roles such as the one of Sarah Michelle Gellar in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She has been the stunt woman for famous movies like G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra, Bubble Boy, Poseidon, Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow, and several others. As an actress, she proved her talent with roles in U.S. Seals 2, Demon Hunter, Lethal Girls 2, etc. Such multi-talented women are a true asset to the film industry. <laughs> Cynthia Khan her original name is Yang Li Tsing, and Cynthia Khan is her stage name which the world knows her by. There was no looking back for this charismatic action heroine ever since she made her debut in the film titled In the Line of Duty 3. She was among the most loved actresses in the girls with guns genre, and her performances echoed her expertise in fitness and stunts. Cynthia Khan worked for the sequel of Line of Duty 3 as well, and her acting skills were praised from all quarters. Her enchanting beauty also impressed her fans who relished the idea of this incredibly pretty lady taking on the most menacing villains. Her famous movies include Bloody Brothers, Flag of Honor, This Love of Mine, Three-Headed Monster, Vampire Kid 2, and several other action-packed films. She also starred in some popular TV series like The Banner Heroes and Heavenly Ghost Catcher. Besides her acting career, she is also a trained jazz dancer, and her skills often come in handy during the fight scenes. Kara Hui The Hong Kong film industry is known for some very entertaining action flicks. Kara Hui is one of the leading ladies to have starred in these movies and won several awards for her performances. Although she played a wide variety of characters, her best-known performances came as an action heroine. However, it is to be noted that she showed some exquisite acting skills in the movie At the End of Daybreak, which won her several awards, such as Hong Kong Film Awards, Golden Horse Awards, etc. She started her career as an extra in films, and it was by sheer chance that she grabbed her first major role in the movie Dirty Ho. The lead actor had quit following the heavy demand of martial arts in the script, and it provided Kara Hui with the ideal opportunity. She starred in massive hits like The Eight Diagram Pole Fighter, My Young Auntie, The Wedding Diary, and Happiness. A perfect blend of talent and enthusiasm, she has ruled the hearts of her fans with her immaculate performances over the years. Moon Lee The fans of the Girls with Guns genre in Hong Kong cinema are aware of the talented Moon Lee. 
Her claim to fame was somewhat accidental when she was spotted at a school dancing performance and roped in by a television director. She started off with a TV series called Fatherland and made the world take notice of her massive potential. She made her debut in movies with the film Zoo Warriors from the Magic Mountain and since then she made the action genre her own. Moon Lee did her own stunts, even though a freak accident on the sets of Devil Hunters caused her third-degree burn injuries. Her most popular hits are Fatal Termination, Ba Hai Hung Ying, and Fighting Madame. She's worked in numerous other movies such as Mission of Justice, Secret Police, Angel's Project, and many others that explored her skills as an action heroine. As of now, she lives a quiet life in Colorado along with her husband. Zoe Bell she is one of the most celebrated stunt women in the film industry due to her fearless attitude towards even the most incredible stunts. Zoe Bell trained in gymnastics and martial arts, and this combination allowed her to be fit as a leopard. She made a strong case for herself with her very first work as a stunt woman in the TV series Xena Warrior Princess. It started off a long line of continuous work that made her the famous personality that she is today. The documentary Double Dare offers some interesting insights into the lives of stunt personalities personalities like her, and Zoe Bell starred in this as well. She worked with the likes of Quentin Tarantino for movies like Kill Bill Vol. 1, Kill Bill Vol. 2, The Hateful Eight, etc. The movie Grindhouse marked her acting debut, and she also starred in the movie titled Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Her long list of movies also includes Death Proof, The Big Take, Pipe, No Touching, Paradox, and other action-oriented movies. There are few in the industry who can parallel her for her talents in performing unbelievable stunts as well as acting. <laughs> Angela Mao the 70s were characterized by some incredible martial arts movies and Angela Mao was an empowering presence in these action flicks. Her training in martial arts, her determined and fearless attitude, and her action skills made a lethal combination that led her to being equated with the iconic Bruce Lee. She was particularly skilled in Hokkaido, a dangerous martial arts form. A sword fight film called Angry River marked her first major role in movies, and this cemented her role as the leading lady for many such movies to come. Angela Mao starred in numerous movies such as The Himalayans, The Association, The Fate of Lee Khan, and possibly her most celebrated role in Enter the Dragon. She was a permanent face in the movies that involved martial arts, and films like Hokkaido, Devil's Dynamite, Deadly China Doll, etc. immortalized her as the famous action heroine. The elegant and graceful Angela Mao could steal the show with her gorgeous beauty or her jaw-dropping stunts. Either way, there's no denying the fact that she has left an indelible mark in action movies with her powerful presence. <laughs> Yukari Oshima if one is treated as the female equivalent of the legendary Jackie Chan, that speaks volumes about her talent. Yukari Oshima was a mainstay in the babes and bullets genre in Hong Kong cinema that dished out some of the most entertaining action movies. She trained in martial arts and was a famous martial artist in Japan before making the plunge in the world of movies. She starred in movies like Bioman that explored her martial arts skills to the fullest. She became a known face in the West after her appearance in the Marlboro Light commercial, and since then she's grown in popularity all the more. She worked in TV series hits like Space Sheriff Shader and Space Sheriff Gavan. As for her long line of movies, A Book of Heroes, The Millionaire, Final Run, Lucky 7-2, A Punch to Revenge, and Never Say Regret are among the ones that deserve mention. Such was the fluency in her action scenes that you would feel like like you were experiencing art in motion. We hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to us. It helps us a lot, and do let us know in the comments section. Have an amazing day ahead, and we'll meet again soon.